Hey everybody, this is Brian at Primo Chill. Today's video we are going to cover, uh, it's kind of a part four and hopefully the last video here, um, a part four video for you guys on accessories for the hasher. Um, last video we kind of went through, showed you guys how to get these all in their slits correctly, get the foam on there, uh, so these brackets, uh, you know, hold your, your video cards right in place. So. Today we're going to cover stacking the hasher and also um, two, two, three accessories as far as adding some ventilation to the hasher and then also adding some uh, rear fans. Uh, some people want, uh, want to use just regular uh, you know, case fans, 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter fans to blow across the cards instead of uh, you know, a box fan or something like that if they have, uh, you know, they want to keep it quiet or, you know, whatnot. So, we're going to kind of dive into that today. Um, as you can see here on this hasher, we do have it stacked up. Um, the top one is empty because uh, I didn't want to take it on their mining rig offline to, uh, to do so. So, but as you can see, uh, these connect, you know, basically this top hasher just sets in a, in a, on the bottom side of this rack here and before the video is over I'll take it off the tripod and kind of show you how you know it sets in that I know when we uh, in the first video when we discussed what the different brackets were and how they went on um, you were able to see uh, there was a square opening on the underside bracket here that basically holds the hasher from going backwards and side to side so um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take off the top hasher and remove this bottom hasher so I can kind of cover some of the, uh, the accessories real quick. So uh, hang in there for a sec and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Um, as you can see we have this exhaust, uh, this exhaust box basically on the front of this hasher and we have a, a dryer vent hose uh, coming out the front of it and as you can see uh, it holds in there pretty good it's not going to pull out uh, you got to kind of unscrew it a little bit you know with these the way that these uh, you know metal spines that are in here that actually hold it hold it in place so this is a four inch tube and basically what the kit will come with we'll have a couple different kits we'll have a kit that doesn't have the tube for the people that want, you know, want to just pick it up local or you know, have some at home. Uh, and then one kit that comes with the tube. And the tube, I think, is 15 feet. So you can, you know, you can get that high, hot air out of the room, out of, away from your system, uh, you know, 15 feet away. So um, what I'm going to do now is kind of just pull this out. And as you can see inside, we have a 120 millimeter fan that's uh, kind of dead center over that hole and basically what that's going to do is that is going to take all of that air that's in there and you know help push it out through the tube so this box is is pretty basic uh, it's just a box basically that is going to uh, you know I'll turn it around a little bit it is going to capture all that heat coming out from your cards and uh, you know, kick it out of the system for you. Uh, get it out of the room. Get into that pipe and get it going. Uh, you know, out of the room. So it does have uh, two T-nut uh, screws here and two on the other side. As you can see, it sits nice and flush here. So uh, you know, there's no air escaping. Um, you know, we've had this on uh, our rigs in our room. I think we're running six rigs now. Um, and you know it's quite amazing how much uh, the room cools down when you can actually get the heat out of the room that the video cards are creating. So this is uh, an exhaust box. Uh, again, we're going to have two versions: one version with the tube, uh, with the dryer hose vent, and one without. So you guys can decide which one you guys want to go with. Um, as far as the assembly goes, they're all tabbed, so everything kind of goes together. You know, just snaps together, holds itself in place, and uh, you know, kind of works out great. So, and this can, with it being in T-slots, this can slide up and down so you can perfectly match 
this exhaust box to be right in front of your video cards. So as you can see here, you know, we don't have any cards in here, but this gives you an idea, you know, our cards do set here and you know, this could be adjusted to go to, uh, you know, capture that heat coming off those cards. So, so the next accessory I wanted to cover, sorry for the noise guys, is the rear um, fan bracket. And basically all that is is just two little brackets here, like uh, T-slot brackets that go on the side and your choice of um, 140 millimeter and 120 millimeter fan brackets. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fans, one, two, three, install them in here, and then you're basically gonna take these hooks that are on the side here, and you can see the matching slit here. And basically all you're gonna do is just set it in, slide it into place, and as you can see, these aren't tightened down 100%. Um, as you can see, this will hold the weight of your uh, fans with no issues. So, uh, again, this bracket is, uh, you know, real simple. Has uh, four screws, two t uh, four T-nuts, and this sliding uh, bracket here that basically you line your fans up on. One fan, two fans, three fans, and basically take it and drop it into the slot on the back side of the car, uh, of the brackets, and you have a nice secure uh, way to take fresh air and blow them across your cards with using fans instead of, you know, a really big box fan. So these fan brackets, uh, they'll be available soon. Uh, they're in production, so we should be able to get them out to our resellers uh, fairly quick. Um, so to kind of cover, we have the fan bracket, we have the, the front exhaust for capturing all the heat coming out of the system. And we have a couple other, uh, one other thing. Um, I know that you guys know that when you bought your Hasher, you actually received a PSU jumper, um, which basically enables you to jump a second PSU based off of your first PSU, what, you know, what it's doing. So if it's on, it'll jump the circuit over here to jump this one on. Um, so we're actually gonna start selling these. Uh, this one's a little different than the one that you got in your hasher. This one's actually 24 inches um, in total. So you have 24 inches here, and then you have another 24 inches here. Um, so if you are splitting a PSU with another miner, which I know some of you guys do, um, you know, to run video cards, this will help you guys do that. Um, we also have a two PSU version. So this is basically gonna jump two PSUs for you, same 24 inches for the PSU extension itself, and then jumping two PSUs. And obviously, because our, our rack supports four PSUs, uh, we have a three PSU jumper model. So this will enable you to run four PSUs, but jumper them all from just one cable, one set of cables, I should say. So, um, as far as accessories, that's pretty much it for the hasher right now. I know that we're working on a, a keyboard mount um, and a monitor mount to mount on the top of one of your hashers. So you're able to, uh, you know, have one monitor to, con you know, control all your hashers uh, or just have it there nice and easy for you to get into. So, uh, as far as the cables, we'll have a couple uh, specific cables coming out for the BTC Pro motherboard, which is basically uh, there's two four pin um, power adapters on the motherboard, and we have uh, a cable that'll come out that'll kind of just it'll basically be a T. You'll ha it'll have two two males and a female in the back, so you don't have to run off your PSU into it. So. Um, Again, we appreciate your help uh, and your support, guys. We should have uh, these accessories out uh, to the resellers here shortly. And again, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, or need anything, please get back to us at primochill.com or visit us on Facebook. Thanks again. Have a great day.